It seems that one of the most common questions business owners have is how do I set meaningful KPIs? And whilst it may seem a relatively simple task, any business owner will tell you that setting KPIs is fraught with danger. Measure the wrong thing, set wrong benchmarks, drive the wrong behaviour, all of these can so easily happen when you don't put enough thought and effort into measuring what matters. And measurement just for the sake of it, it doesn't make sense. As someone once said, you don't make sheep any fatter just by weighing them. And so there's two types of KPIs. Firstly, the key performance indicator, which we've all heard of. And then second is the key predictive indicator. And key predictive indicators are lead measures. They're like a canary in a coal mine, giving you advance indication or a, a prediction of what is likely to follow. Whereas lag measures can sometimes be more like a caterpillar. So you're hopeful that it will eventually turn into a butterfly, but simply watching it will not make it happen. So the CEO who was responsible for a dramatic turnaround in the fortunes of Continental Airlines attributed his success to focusing on just three lead measures. So that was on-time performance, lost luggage, and customer complaints. And he knew if he got these right, the results would follow, and he made an interesting observation that businesses fail because they want the right things but measure the wrong things. So you might want to know what your customer retention rate is. What percentage of customers are we holding on to? Great measure, it's very important, but it's the result rather than the driver. So you might also choose to measure how many customer complaints you're getting as this will be a predictor of customer retention. And conversion rate uh, is an interesting one because it can be both a lead and a lag measure. It's a lead measure for sales results, but then there are other lead measures that will directly influence your conversion rate. For instance, average quote turnaround or on-time follow-up percentage. The new customer acquisition, uh, a great number to monitor, but it's just a result. So tracking new customer visits or number of sample packs dispatched in a given period. These could be the lead measures or the canary measures. So how many caterpillars do you have in your business backyard and what are you doing about the canaries? What is needed is a balance between both. So ideally you will want a lead measure and a lag measure for almost every area of business. But in particular, make sure you're measuring what is important to your customer. Because what is important to them is important to you.